Hey guys, Dr. Shelley here. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about vaccines and your immune system. I feel like there's a lot of misconception about how your immune system works and without a good understanding on the physiology behind the immune system, I don't think it's really fair to make a determination on whether or not to get vaccinated. Let's start with an overview of the immune system. Did you know that you actually have three immune systems? Most people think that they have one immune system, but that's actually not true. The first part of your immune system is known as your innate immune system, and that's your natural innate immune system. It's the first line of defense against bacteria or viruses or other pathogens. The second part of your immune system is known as your interferon system, and a lot of people don't know about this system. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more in just a second. The third part of your immune system is known as your adaptive immune system. When you first come in contact contact with, let's say, a virus, your innate natural immune system is like, whoa, that's not supposed to be in here. And they start attacking that virus. They start breaking it down and they try to get rid of it. At the same time, the second part of your immune system, known as your interferon immune system, is also activated. And what that immune system does is it stimulates or activates your adaptive immune system. So your innate immune system is trying to attack this virus. And at the same time, it's like, hey, interferon system, like something's going on here. And then the interferon system goes to the adaptive immune system and says, whoa, something's going on. We need backup right? It takes about two to three days for that communication to happen. But once the adaptive immune system gets that communication and is alerted to a virus or an invader in the body, that's when your body is able to create antigens and antibodies. Your body creates antigens in response to allergies and it creates antibodies in response to things like viruses. Just know that your adaptive immune system is what creates that long lasting immunity to something. Back in the day, we used to have chicken pock parties. Parents would bring their kids to other people's houses when their kid got chicken pox and they'd all play together and then their kid would get chicken pox also. So what happens there? Our innate immune system was like, whoa, chicken pox, right? And it sent a message to the interferon system that then sent a message to the adaptive immune system. And you had chicken pox, you felt like crap, you had red marks all over your body and a fever, and then you got over it, right? And then you never got it again because the adaptive immune system was always on guard from that point on to make sure that you didn't get chicken pox again. So if you were exposed to chicken pox, let's say you know, you're know you an adult, you come over to somebody's house, their kid has chicken pox, why don't you get it? It's because that adaptive immune system created a little army of antibodies that are constantly looking for chicken pox. And the second it, you're around that, it takes it out, no problem. What happens when you get a vaccine injected into your body? What part of your immune system is activated? When you get that vaccine injected into your body, it bypasses that whole system and your adaptive immune system starts ramping up. The theory behind what happens next is that your body is able to create these antibodies because the vaccine was injected in you and the vaccine has the virus in it or bacteria in it, whatever kind of pathogen that you're trying to build immunity against. But it bypassed the first and second part of your immune system. It bypassed the innate immune system and it bypassed the interferon part of your immune system. This is why vaccines have additives in it. It's the main reason. A lot of people think that vaccines have additives to extend the shelf life because they're preservatives. And, and although that is true, the other reason why vaccines have additives in it is because you're trying to synthetically stimulate the innate immune system. Because without the innate immune system kind of ramping up and going in overdrive, your whole immune system hasn't been fully exposed to the pathogen. So you have things like heavy metals, aspirin, all sorts of ingredients that I'm not even going to mention here because people don't want to accept the fact that there are chemicals that are harmful to your body in vaccines on purpose. 
that's how your innate immune system is activated and the attenuated or dead or weakened virus in the vaccine stimulates your adaptive immune system. But what's really interesting is that your interferon system isn't stimulated very well from vaccines because again, it's a synthetic way to build up antibodies in response to a pathogen. So in order for you to have a strong, healthy immune system, all three parts of your immune system need to work together. So if you're going to get vaccinated, I want you to at least understand how your immune system works and what's in the vaccine that you are going to allow injected into your body. And again, this whole process is not natural at all. What's natural is being exposed to a virus and your immune system actually doing what it was meant to do innate immune system, interferon system, adaptive immune system. You got antibodies and antigens that now handle your health, keep you healthy for the rest of your life. The other issue with vaccines is that when a vaccine is injected into you, it's usually for a specific strain of a virus. And because your interferon immune system wasn't stimulated, when you come in contact with a virus that's similar to the one that you were vaccinated for, your body may not actually be able to have the proper response. It's been shown that the interferon immune system is actually responsible for giving you immunity against similar pathogens. So let's say that you got the flu one year, you didn't get vaccinated, but you, you got sick and then you got over it and now your immune system has built up antibodies against that specific strain of the flu. What's interesting is that because of your interferon system, you're actually immune to a couple other strands of that same flu. When you get vaccinated, you are only immune if you are at all, to that one strain. And how often does that one strain come along? Well, if you look at history, every year when the flu is going around, it tends to be a different strain of the flu virus. So if you get the flu vaccine one year, you think that you're immune the next year, and that's not necessarily true. So I'm not telling you guys what to do at all, okay? I just want you to understand how the immune system works and how vaccines work or the theory behind how vaccines work so you can make an informed decision about whether or not to be vaccinated. If you wanna take a proactive step in strengthening your immune system on your own without having to get anything injected into your body, you need to make sure that you don't have any nutritional deficiencies, things like vitamin A and vitamin D, zinc, selenium, there's so many nutrients that your immune system uses as fuel to fight the viruses and bacteria and parasites and fungus and all sorts of things in our environment and keep us from actually getting sick with those things. If your immune system does not have the fuel to do this, it's not going to do it. If you don't have those nutrients in your body, if you decide to go get vaccinated, your body's gonna have a really hard time, even with the vaccine, because it doesn't have, your immune system does not have the nutrients it needs to even create an immune response against what was injected into your body. So the best thing that you can do, the best thing in the world that you can do is to improve your nutritional health status. And if you want more information on how you can do that, you can check out all the other videos that I have on my YouTube channel. You can reach out to me. I'm the owner of Natural Health Practices in Port Orange, Florida. This is what I do for a living. My team and I actually help people to break free from recurrent health problems naturally. How cool is that? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value from this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, put your comments below. I read every single one of them and I'll see you all in the next video.